We got some massive news out of OpenAI, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this could be a complete game changer for the entire AI landscape. They dropped their first open weight language models since GPT-2, and these aren't just any models. We're talking about GPT-OSS 120B and GPT-OSS 20B, and they are seriously impressive. So what exactly did OpenAI just release? We've got two brand new models here. The bigger one is GPT-OSS 120B, with 117 billion total parameters. But here's the cool part. It only activates 5.1 billion parameters per token, thanks to this mixture of experts' architecture. Then we've got GPT-OSS 20B with 21 billion total parameters, activating just 3.6 billion parameters per token. Both of these are released under the Apache 2.0 license, meaning you can download them, fine-tune them, modify them, and do pretty much whatever you want with them. Now, if you're wondering why you should care about open weight models, let me break this down for you. These models can be downloaded and run completely offline on your own hardware. No internet connection required once you've got them set up. No data being sent to OpenAI servers. It's all happening locally on your machine. And here's the kicker. The performance on these models is absolutely mind-blowing. The GPT-OSS 120B model is achieving near parity with OpenAI's O4 Mini on core reasoning benchmarks. We're talking about performance that's basically matching some of OpenAI's best closed models, but now it's open source and you can run it yourself. The smaller 20B model is delivering similar results to O3 on common benchmarks. And get this, it can run on edge devices with just 16 gigabytes of memory. Let's talk about the technical specs for a minute because this is where things get really interesting. Both models use this mixture of experts' architecture, which basically means they're not using all their parameters at once. Instead, they're intelligently selecting which parts of the model to activate for each token, making them way more efficient. They've got a 128,000 token context length, which translates to about 96,000 words of combined input and output. That's massive. The models use alternating dense and locally banded sparse attention patterns, similar to GPT-3, and they've implemented grouped multi-query attention with a group size of 8 for better inference efficiency. They're using rotary positional embedding for positional encoding, and here's something really cool. They're also open-sourcing their tokenizer called O200K Harmony, which is a superset of what they use for O4 Mini and GPT-4.0. The 120B model requires about 80 gigabytes of GPU memory, so you're going to need some serious hardware. But the 20B model, that only needs 16 gigabytes of memory, which means it can run on a lot of consumer GPUs. Now let's dive into the performance numbers, because this is where my mind was completely blown. On Code Forces, which is this competitive programming benchmark, the 120B model scored 2,622 points. To put that in perspective, that's performing right alongside O4 Mini and just slightly behind O3. For competition math on AIME 2024, it's hitting 96.6% accuracy outperforming both O3 and O3 Mini. On health-related queries through HealthBench, it's actually outperforming O4 Mini and O3 Mini. This is an open-source model we're talking about here. The 20B model, despite being much smaller, is still incredibly capable. It's matching or exceeding O3 Mini on most benchmarks, and in some cases like competition mathematics and health queries, it's actually performing better. This smaller model is perfect for developers who want to run AI locally without needing enterprise-grade hardware. But here's what really sets these models apart. They're not just good at benchmarks. These are reasoning models with full chain-of-thought capabilities. You can actually see the model think through problems step-by-step, just like the O-Series models. OpenAI included this really complex engineering problem in their documentation about calculating failure rates for automotive safety systems. The model had to browse the internet for formulas, execute Python code, and work through this incredibly detailed mathematical analysis. You can literally watch it think through each step, questioning its own assumptions, looking up additional information, and arriving at the correct answer. It's like having a conversation with a really smart engineer who's working through a problem in real time. They support three different reasoning efforts, low, medium, and high, so you can trade off between speed and performance depending on what you need. And here's something really interesting about the chain of thought. OpenAI deliberately didn't put any direct supervision on the reasoning process. 
This means you can actually monitor what the model is thinking to detect potential misbehavior or deception, which is huge for safety research. The models also have exceptional tool use capabilities. They can browse the web, execute Python code, make function calls, and work within agentic workflows. OpenAI trained these using reinforcement learning and techniques informed by their most advanced internal models, including O3 and other frontier systems. Basically, they took everything they learned from their best models and distilled it into these open weight versions. From a safety perspective, OpenAI didn't just throw these models out there. They put them through comprehensive safety training and evaluations. But here's where it gets really interesting. They actually tested what would happen if bad actors tried to fine-tune these models for malicious purposes. They created adversarially fine-tuned versions focused on biology and cybersecurity, basically simulating what an attacker might do. The results? Even with OpenAI's field-leading training stack, these maliciously fine-tuned models couldn't reach high capability levels according to their preparedness framework. This testing was reviewed by three independent expert groups, and their methodology represents a meaningful advancement for open model safety. And speaking of safety, OpenAI is launching a red teaming challenge with a $500,000 prize fund. They're encouraging researchers, developers, and enthusiasts from around the world to help identify novel safety issues with these models. At the end of the challenge, they'll publish a report and open source an evaluation data set based on the findings, so the entire community can benefit. What's really exciting is seeing how this is already being adopted. The models come natively quantized in MXFP4 format, which is why the 120B model can run in 80 GB of memory instead of requiring much more. They've partnered with basically everyone in the ecosystem. Azure, Hugging Face, VLLM, Alama, Llama.cp, LM Studio, AWS, Fireworks, Together AI, Basten, Databricks, Versal, Cloudflare, and OpenRouter. On the hardware side, they've worked with NVIDIA, AMD, Cerebrus, and Grok to ensure optimized performance across different systems. Microsoft is bringing GPU-optimized versions of the 20B model to Windows devices through ONNX runtime, and they're available through Foundry Local and the AI Toolkit for VS Code. OpenAI has also open-sourced something called a Harmony Renderer in both Python and Rust, along with reference implementations for PyTorch and Apple's Metal platform. They've even created an open model playground where you can try these models right now without having to download anything. Think about what this means for developers and businesses. If you're working on coding projects, you could potentially replace expensive API calls to Claude or ChatGPT with a local model that performs just as well. No more worrying about API costs, rate limits, or sending your code to external servers. It's all happening on your own hardware. For researchers and academics, this is huge. Having access to state-of-the-art reasoning models that you can modify and experiment with opens up so many possibilities. You can fine-tune these models on your specific domain, adjust their behavior, or use them as a foundation for entirely new research. And for privacy-conscious users, this is exactly what we've been waiting for. You can have conversations with an AI that's as capable as ChatGPT, but everything stays completely local. No data leaves your machine. No concerns about privacy or data retention policies. The fact that OpenAI is releasing these as open weight models is a massive shift in strategy. This is the same company that's been pretty protective of their models, and now they're giving away some of their best technology. Sam Altman has said that they believe far more good than bad will come from this release and that people should be able to directly control and modify their own AI when they need to. What's particularly interesting is their reasoning for why open models matter. They're discussing lowering barriers for emerging markets, resource-constrained sectors, and smaller organizations that may not have the budget for proprietary models. They want to expand what they call democratic AI rails by making these powerful tools accessible to people around the world. I've been testing these models, and the performance is genuinely impressive. The speed, the quality of responses, the reasoning capabilities, it's all there. And knowing that this is just the beginning, that developers around the world are going to start fine-tuning and improving these models, makes me incredibly excited about what's coming next. This release is going to accelerate innovation in the AI space in ways we probably can't even imagine yet. When you give thousands of developers access to state-of-the-art models that they can modify and improve, amazing things happen.
We're going to see specialized versions for different industries, improved efficiency optimizations, and probably capabilities we haven't even thought of yet. The models were trained on a mostly English, text-only dataset with a focus on STEM, coding, and general knowledge. During pre-training, they filtered out harmful data related to chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear materials. During post-training, they used deliberative alignment and instruction hierarchy to teach the models to refuse unsafe prompts and defend against prompt injections. So if you're a developer, researcher, or just someone who's excited about AI, I'd highly recommend checking out these models. They're available right now on Hugging Face, and you can run them with tools like LM Studio, Olama, or deploy them on cloud platforms. The barrier to entry for working with cutting-edge AI just got a whole lot lower. This is honestly one of the most significant AI releases we've seen this year. OpenAI just democratized access to frontier-level AI capabilities, and I can't wait to see what the community builds with these tools. The future of AI just got a lot more open, and that's incredibly exciting for everyone involved. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest AI news. Until next time, this is AI Horizon, exploring tomorrow's technology today.